Hello, and today we're going to be having a look at Detective City of Angels, uh, the latest in a series of games about uh, detectives. So obviously it comes with an expansion, but it's over Hollywood. Um, but other games that uh, sort of a similar vibe, you've got Mythos Tales, Sherlock Holmes, uh, multiple versions of that, Chronicles of Crime, and of course Detective itself here represented by LA Crimes. And to this, I think you could add... Um, mentions of madness but anyway let's have a look inside city of angels now as you can see on the back of the box you get a lot of bits in it um, with beautiful artwork by uh, vincent uh, dutre i think it is and you've got a lovely board various crimes and this is an interesting sort of competitive game where one of you represents the sort of the evil across the city of LA uh, in the form of the chisel and then the rest of you are sort of cops investigating murders and you can play it I believe either cooperatively or you can be like a slightly bent copper who is subject to bribes and extorting the mafia and um, yeah then you're playing it in a competitive manner and that's where the chisel becomes really interesting because they can give uh, certain lead information to one detective and a totally different set of lead information to another detective but if you're not careful they can cross-reference with each other and catch you out so anyway um, that's the back of the box let's look inside and when opening the box you've got these lovely um, punch board bits but it says here do not pre-punch these suspects standees immediately before playing a case only the chisel is going to be uh, punching the relevant people so uh, i'm not sure i 100 percent agree with that i guess it's to make it easy to work out where things are. Then you've got your money and snitch tokens, final guess, um, I guess player markers without double checking. Um, we've got this little information uh, envelope and you can slip, I believe, cards from the various cases into this um, to do fancy things. We've got the map board here, which is big. I'm gonna have trouble showing you that. We've then got some case notes, which is a beautiful pad. Um, I love these pads, but I hope there is a PDF of this because I don't like sort of ruining my pads. Uh, we then got various case books, which there's quite a few of them. And there are actually uh, MP3s of this on the Van Ryder website that you can um, have a listen to. We've then got um, some various question grids. Uh, which I believe are dry erase boards, if I remember correctly. Um, no sign of the rule book yet, interestingly enough. It must be buried at the bottom, or maybe it's one of these documents. Oh, yeah, here you go. So we've got our case books. I've gone right past it. Uh, the tutorial book, the rule book, and the sleuth case book. Yeah, so just be aware of that. If you're excitingly unboxing, you might whip straight past the case books and, and miss out on spotting the rule book. Okay, so that's that. Then we've got this here, um, sort of like a, a question-y thing by the looks of it. Then I believe these are the individual detective playing boards. So you've got your actions. Let's see if we can get this better. Yeah, so you can move, you can question, you can search uh, either the location or the suspect. You can analyze or you can get a kickback and this is where you store your money to buy your various bits and as you can see we've got what uh, blue green red and yellow hopefully not too bad for colorblind people you've then got your little cubes um, some cool minis and discs let's put that to one side have to try and look at that later some little markers and then these are other amusing sort of hats and love it loads of baggies so that's great thank you for that and yes then there's the case files themselves which are stored in these boxes here now i had heard about some problems with the insert these bits don't fit over here rather annoyingly there's plenty of room here there's you know they could have made these both pockets work and that means this is very tight to the top so depending on how you put it away um, you might find your top bit slides across and it just about holds it uh, so watch out for that. And then the other problem is I don't see sleeved cards fitting in here. And I'm not sure they're... Um, yeah, I'm not sure these are standard playing cards. I need to check, are they European or American um, board game cards rather than poker cards? We'll have to see. And there is room, allegedly, for 
expansions in here so the bullets over Hollywood I believe do fit in here now it might be you don't need to shuffle these so not being able to um, you know sleeve them is maybe not such a big problem now I like them this way around so we've got blood on the pier which has fallen over murder at sunset and yeah great uh, heist on what's that north heist to nowhere Oops. Bloody, what's that? Bloody Christmas. Yeah. The Last Embrace. Murder on All Hallows' Eve. El Phantasm. El Phantasma. Final Strikeout. And then the Black King. So there you go, there are the uh, nine scenarios. We've got three gumshoe, three veteran, and three hard-boiled cases. And then, of course, we've got bullets over Hollywood. So I guess we'll have a quick look at that as well. Now, before we get too excited by the expansion, I did want to show you the minis. They're sort of 25, 28 mil, I guess. They've got little snap-on bases. So you've got your four player colors. We've got a gentleman holding a pistol with a bit of a tash going on. Your classic, uh, you know, fedora hat. Uh, a woman, I believe, holding out a police badge and a pistol, and then not sure what she's doing, uh, holding a notepad or something. I think um, they're probably paint up quite nicely, and they're reasonably detailed. Let's see, can we get a decent close up? There you go. Um, they're not bad little minis. Very good for a board game. Now the final thing before um, we get on to the expansion is obviously the map. I'm not going to show all of it to you because it, it folds out to be pretty big. You can see if I zoom back a bit, uh, that's just one panel. But uh, if you go in on the close-ups, there's some lovely detail here. So you've got location 16, sunset pier location 15, um, up here in west side, what's that, uh, Le, Bear tar pit, or Le Brea Tar Pits. Um, Beverly Hills Hotel, lovely little plane up here. Um, yeah, really nice details. And can I fold this out? Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's huge. There you, go. you might just about get it all in shot there. Uh, yeah, sorry about the glare. It's a very hot, sunny day here today. But yeah, very good. Welcome to LA. Come for vacation. Leave on probation. And then obviously, if you get it wrong, case goes cold and time for a coffee. So here we have uh, the expansion for Detective City of Angels, at Bullets Over Hollywood. Uh, as you can see, we've got another four case books, um, 12 more suspects and four unique cases. Um, so that's uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I think it's going to add some nice bits to the base game. So what's that going to be? 13-ish case files straight out the box. Now what drew me to this game was a bit like Chronicles of Crime that is a fan development kit that's meant to be in the works. And I'm really keen to see that because one of the problems with these sort of games is I'm not really going to be able to show you too much of this because if I do, I'm going to ruin a case for you. And with only 13-ish cases to play, if I ruin one of them, well, you know, that's my on 10% of the game it's potentially ruined for you. Now, if you've got memory like a sieve, uh, then yeah, obviously you can go out and um, play these sort of games multiple times. And that's the problem with uh, Sherlock Holmes, Mythos Tales, Detective, Chronicles of Crime and Detective Cities of Angels is they're great fun while you're playing them. But once you get to the end, it, it's quite hard to revisit some of the cases because you're suddenly going, oh, yeah, um, yeah, that guy, Lewis, he, he's the murderer. And it's like, well, how do you know that? Oh, well, I played it a year ago. Anyway, let's have a look inside here. So when I open up the box, we've got the Crimson Obsession, the Masterpiece of Madrid, Christmas in July, Requiem for a Gangster, some new suspects, our case book for each of those. Then uh, another chisel book for the solution to the case and a case book and then our four expansions. Now basically this box in theory is totally redundant because we can just pop it in the master box. 
Now I have had uh, a little bit of a problem here. This insert here, this just about fits once I remove these, but it doesn't really fit very well. That is really tight. Uh, I'm not very happy with that. Uh, so I'm afraid this is another potential box where the insert, although it looks good, um, it's a little bit junky. Uh, and again, there's probably no need to have made this quite so tight as it was. Maybe the Kickstarter extras have meant a problem and I've got to find a place for these and of course the other bits and pieces. So slight disappointment with that. Okay, well here's the potential solution. Um, take one of the case files, put it back in the expansion box and then everything else fits just great in the box. This is really disappointing. It's been a bit of a wait and little niggly things like that are quite bothersome and plus if I sleeve all these then these lovely boxes are uh, a total waste of time and won't fit in here because they're probably almost going to double in size due to the sleeves so yeah that's a real annoyance from that point of view however let's put that to one side the actual quality of the components the artwork all of the punch boards the map everything's great now I'm going to very quickly have a look in here and see if I can show it to you without spoiling too much. Okay, well it's pretty hard to show you the contents of Blood on the Pier. We've got our case cards, our response cards and our search cards. There's nine search cards, five response cards and seven case cards. Now the response cards drop into here and as you can see, a bit like, I don't know if you've seen Gloomhaven, it's a squarish card, it drops in here. And then on here will be the response. And I've currently got it set to blank, so you won't see anything. There are some words there that you might just caught a little glimpse, glimpse of. Now, if I pick up this card here, yeah. So this here is something to do with the case. And that could be very relevant. This card over here, that's a search. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay. Well, that might say you find something, you don't find something, etc. So these cards here, a bit like Chronicles of Crime, are semi-generic. And then the actual case file says, oh, well, item G uh, is actually, I don't know, um, a murder scene. Uh, this search card here says if you're at G and you search it, then you find card A. And that links you to something um, and so yeah you can potentially reuse these cards a bit like chronicles of crime so yeah i mean that's probably about as close as i can show you without um spoiling it now i haven't had the game long enough to be able to do a bit like uh, rado runs through where he actually did run you through an early prototype version with his own custom scenario so if you want to see sort of how the game works without necessarily spoiling a genuine scenario Go check out that um, video. But that's about all I can probably show you of this, which is, as I say, one of my big annoyances with all of these sort of games um, that, you know, when it comes to reviewing them, it's a little bit tricky. Now, obviously, because this is brand new, sort of from Kickstarter, as you can see, it's unpunched at the moment. And I'm really looking forward to getting this one to the table. Um, it's got a really cool noir sort of vibe. Um, if you prefer a slightly more modern setting, then maybe you want Detective. Um, if you like the 80s Miami Vice sort of um, session, then you can get LA Crimes. If you like your Cthulhu tentacle horror, get Mythos Tales. If you like your Victorian gentleman stuff, get the Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detectives. And if you like sort of modern day London or noir or uh, sort of Stranger Things, get Chronicles of Crime. Each has their strengths and weaknesses. Um, Detective is very complex sort of headspace um, trying to put together all your connections mythos tales and sherlock holmes are similar to that uh, there have been some printing errors with various versions i believe um, case file one in the brown box that i showed you is uh, the most correct printing uh, of sherlock holmes and then chronicles of crime uses an app and i think it uses the app in a really cool way i'm not a big fan of app driven games but uh, Mansions of Madness uses it for a really cool sort of detective horror investigating a building um, Chronicles of Crime uses it for a really cool VR look around to spot clues and then using like QR codes to unlock bits to allow you to piece together the evidence 
and it's got a really cool community mod which I'm using to write my own case file uh, but because I can't do the VR stuff I'm actually having to put it all into words at the moment which is a bit disappointing and as I say there could be something similar for this which I can see this may be working a bit like Chronicles of Crime where you create your own snitch and detective casebook file and then you maybe recycle the blood on the pier stuff um, but there you go um, I think I'm going to wrap it up there that's about all I can show you for now in the meantime I'm going to have to get this all punched and work out how I'm going to box it and deal with this slight irritation about actually getting it back in the box once you've got it all sorted out um, I think the box is big enough that you can dump stuff and there is apparently a secret in here that I'm going to go rummage for now so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, until the next one happy gaming <laughs>